Fence wire cutters and pliers, everyone's got their favourite, but which one's the best and easiest to use? Grab your speed dealers, let's find out. <laughs> okay, so how does this test work? We've laid out all of our pliers that we're trying out. We've got some 2.65 high tensile wire, so we've got a reasonable wire to cut into. And we've got all of this feeding into a milling machine here that allows me to apply steady and increasing pressure on the pliers between the milling machine head and a load cell that records the newton meters of force being applied to the handle on the pliers. Now I'm going to make sure that I put the load cell in the middle of where you would normally expect your hand to be on each set of handles. I'm not going to place it right on the end and obviously I'm not going to place it right near the jaws. I'm going to place it right in the middle of where the pliers feel comfortable. We've laid out our pliers. I think I've got the order reasonably right. Let's find out. I'm going to zoom in now and all you're going to see for this test is the pliers, the milling machine, the load cell and the readout in Newtons. For those of you who are interested, there's about 102 grams of kilogram force per Newton. All right, so pliers number one, we're gonna put the wire into the rearmost section of the cutters on all pliers. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna put the load cell in the center of where you would expect your hand to be. And now we're just gonna slowly apply pressure with the milling machine and find out what happens to our force. Once I've got the pliers in place, obviously I'm taking my hand well away. 860 newton meters of force to cut 2.65 high tensile wire. Now of course anyone's going to point out that measuring the cutting strength of all of these different pliers is only one thing that they have to do and a good set of cutters are always in my tool bag but I usually have several tools to do the job. Always a good set of nips if I'm going to be using tie wire and for any job I still use a set of traditional fencing pliers. These ones are the stainless ones from Horsley. They're just indestructible. Pliers number two, the Toledo fencing pliers with our side cutter option. We're going to use one of the two side cutters on these pliers. These have not been used very much. They're not my favourite piece of machinery, but let's see how they handle cutting pressure. So we've got our hand well back on the 12 inch pliers. We're going to over 540 newton meters before we have the cut of the wire, which is beyond the hand strength of most men. Pliers number three, and we've had to change our setup slightly. We've had to take the bung off. The parrot beak pliers from Toledo open, well, any parrot beak pliers open so wide, it's actually uncomfortable to get your hand into the correct position to cut the wire. So we've actually had to disassemble our load cell setup and just go directly onto the load cell with these and we'll see how we go. All right, we've got our hand in approximately the right position on the load cell there. 800 newtons of force basically around about 780 kilos of force tension required, well beyond that of any hand grip strength that's been measured. So grip strength, why am I focusing on it in this review? And why does it matter? Well, it turns out grip strength peaks in our mid to late thirties. It's worse before and it's worse after. So younger and older people are gonna really be affected by the tool choice they make. And also the more grip strength you require to use a tool on a repeated basis, the more chance there is for injury. Now next up, I've got three sets of stainless steel fencing pliers from Horsley Wholesale to try out. I've got the 8 inch, 10 inch and 12 inch. Let's find out, gentlemen, if the extra inches really do make a performance difference. We've got the 8 inch model of fencing pliers from Horsley Wholesale. Worst results so far of 830 newtons. Next up, we've got the 10 inch model, same thing, stainless steel fencing pliers. We're gonna go with the bottom jaws, same as we did with the eight inch jobs. You'll notice we've put some pieces of foam here 
Um, that's simply to stop these stainless steel handles from slipping. Hopefully it works. I'm feeling vulnerable. 576. Inches count, boys. Inches count. This video is made possible by Fence Stay, Australia's strongest prefabricated steel box end assemblies. No cutting, no grinding, no welding. Super easy to construct. Get onto Fence Stay, link in the description. Next up, we've got the 12 inch model, Mr. Footlong. And once again, we've got the same problem that we had with the parrot beaks with these pliers, and that is that the distance of the handles means that I don't know whose hand has that bigger span. Maybe Andre the Giant. But let's see if this makes much of a difference to the sheer strength. Four hundred and forty eight Newton meters of force required to cut through the two point six five. Next up, we've got Nipex pincers. These guys are sworn by by several fencing contractors I know for twitching off and cutting wire in the one movement. So let's see how these go cutting the two point six five, which is not their recommended use, by the way. We have a new winner in worst performance at 984 newtons. So, yep, use your nips for all the tie wire you like, but leave them in your fencing bag for anything bigger. Next, just because we can, we've got the foot long nippers. Let's see how they perform. Not expecting a lot out of this one. 546. Next, we've just got a good quality set of side cutters. These are the Marvel brand. Famous for comic strips. Seven hundred and eighty-eight newtons of force required to cut through the two point six five. Now I'm being deliberately difficult in this test. I'm using two point six five high tensile, heavily galvanized trellis wire, which is about twice as hard to cut as two and a half mil high tensile wire, which is what most people use. The reason for that is a lot of prefabricated mesh, like this white stiff stay, is using 2.65 or 2.9 high tensile wire on the top and bottom these days. So you will come across it more and more in your daily fencing. All right, next we're starting to get into the fan favourites. And first up, we've got the Morn electric fencing pliers. These are sold in Australia by Gallagher. These used to be my go-to. I have since changed my preferences slightly. Still a great set of pliers. Let's see how they perform. 540 newtons. That's a decent squeeze. All right, next up are the baby morns. These are smaller, so one would expect poorer performance. Let's find out. 408 newtons. We've been able to identify two reasons why this is probably occurring. With these pliers here, you've actually got two independent moving parts in the design. So the shorter this distance compared to this distance, the more force multiplication you have. Well, it turns out that in this set, the distance between these two pins is appreciably smaller, and the distance between this pin and the end of the levers is not as great. Next up is really easy to see. With both of these pliers opened wide, we've got about the same grip distance, but have a look at the distance that we have to travel here compared to the distance we have to travel here. It's much smaller. So this amount of force is being concentrated over a shorter distance than the same amount of force in these pliers. Hit me in the comments and let me know if you think I've summed it up properly. All right, last but not least, we've got the Nipex cutters distributed in Australia by Whites Rural and available at your local stockist. These are my go-tos. I've been using these and this particular pair for some years now. Let's find out how they stack up. Four 
384 newtons. So probably not much of a surprise at all. The Nipex came out in front today with just under 38 kilos of grip force required, meaning that these are now becoming the primary choice of fencing contractors in Australia, and they're probably worth having a look at. There were some, pro some surprising results in this range, and I'm really interested to see the effect that lever length had on the three identical sets of fencing pliers. And I'll tell you what, these little stainless steel jobbies, they're looking good to me. I can't wait to go and leave them in the ground for a week or so and see how they perform. They're stainless. That'll be right. Guys, I hope this video was useful to you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Plenty more on timthompson.ag. And I'll see you next week with something else. I've just got to figure out what it is. And we're going to use the quill to bring force. We've got a lock. <laughs> oh, now it's coming down. <laughs> That's why you lock it. Okay. <coughs>